I got Lola. She is, uh, she's a little scared. It's raining right now. And she is scared of rain. Ironically, she loves the ocean. I think she's just scared of like water that falls from the sky because she loves swimming and she loves like water, but she doesn't like it when it's coming from the sky. So yeah, when she gets scared like this, she either likes to be in a place where she can hide or held. Uh, Cause she's a baby. Not really, <laughs> but she thinks she is. Um, so her favorite hiding spots are like closets and under beds. Um, so yeah, I'm like really, probably like really red <laughs> right now because I just had to take her upstairs. Um, but I'm probably going to clear out the closet in here so she can have a spot to be while I'm working. Um, but she gets really, like, really antsy and likes to move around too, because um, she, yeah, she's just really scared. But she's just a baby. I love her. So yeah, that's update for right now, and yeah, I'm gonna take care of this scared little baby. the next morning I already cut this one well actually my mom already cut this one um, well she cut a couple slices for herself but then I cut the rest of this one tastes delicious um, I'm gonna cut this one this one I didn't let rise enough um, in the pan this one did so this one's a little higher so the swirl is probably gonna be a little better but, um, yeah, eventually I do want to get beeswax wraps for these because I'm actually really, really enjoying making bread and I'm really liking it. Um, <clears throat> but I don't want to keep wasting plastic wrap. So one thing I did, um, hang on, let me grab it. So this is from a bread I got at Aldi's. If you have an Aldi's, um... This apple strudel bread is delicious. I want to try and make it. Um, but, yeah. Uh, I'm obsessed with this. It's expensive, though. So, it's kind of a treat. But, <laughs> um, anyway. So, uh, someone suggested that you can, like, put it directly in, like, an old bread bag. And I was like, that's really smart. But, um, I still don't know how. Like, I've never tried that before. So I don't know how well that would last with homemade bread, so I'd probably still like at least do one layer of plastic wrap and then put it in there. Um, but I do think that's a good idea. However, like I said, I really want to get like beeswax wraps so I can just keep reusing it and not having to waste cling wrap. Um, so yeah, I'm going to cut this one. Um, so this one's the cinnamon swirl bread. I made this a little differently than I did last time I made it um this is like the third or fourth time I've made this bread now and um I made this these breads like when I was making the white breads this one turned out really funny and I'll tell you why in a second um but yeah uh the swirl on the last one was like okay um I I like, I 
made it too wide and so when I rolled it I had to like put it where, but it tasted good it tasted good so I'm not gonna complain um this tastes well this one tastes delicious and this is the same recipe so it should also taste delicious however I did change one thing um instead of doing just cinnamon sugar although the recipe was like you can add raisins and I was like no, <laughs> um, I actually put in some brown sugar as well as like the sugar and cinnamon and it's like you can kind of taste it. It's not it's a little subtle. I put it more in this one than in this one, I think, um, but I also put like on the crust. I just like kind of put a little bit of the extra stuff on top so you kind of see it right there that like dark spots um, I think next time add a little bit more brown sugar versus the regular sugar and um, maybe try and put like some more on top because I like the idea of that so yeah I'm gonna cut this one up and then I'm already cut one of the white breads um, when it wasn't cooled so it was kind of hard to cut <laughs> so I'm gonna cut these two next okay so the reason why this one looks like a brain on top um versus like this one so i only have well my mom only has two bread pans and uh yeah i made five loaves um so yeah do the math <laughs> um I made I was making the white breads first and then I was gonna make this and I didn't realize we only had two bread pans um so I put this in, in an aluminum pan that we had uh, only to realize that that pan was actually slightly smaller than the um I believe it's nine by five bread pans we have. So um, it got way too big and when it was like um, rising in the pan before I even put it in the oven. And it's still gonna rise in the oven too. So I was like, that seems dangerous. <laughs> um, so I tried my best when these came out to like transfer this over to the other pan. And um, yeah, it like, did that I think it'll still taste fine so let's cut this one <laughs> all right so I've cut a couple slices so let's peek inside and see how the swirl looks okay not a bad swirl I think I could have done a little tighter especially right here um i think what i need to do is roll it longer um and then i think i didn't roll it tight enough here either and that's why there's this gap which i noticed when i like knocked on it and i was like it's kind of a gap um but the only thing that'll do is like when i slice it it'll do this So I do other things besides making bread, and here it is. Um, well, actually this is something new. I've never tried cross stitch before, and I found it really fun, although I did have some issues with the fabric. Um, the holes were not like aligned correctly, the there was something wrong with the fabric. But the design was really cute, the product itself was only $5, and I had fun, and I got this for me and my friend. Um, and she finished her, so I was like, well, now I gotta do mine. Um, but I recorded a whole bunch of footage for it, and I'm still editing it, but it will be its own separate video, so if you want to see the full thing, I will have it linked at the end of this video when it's done, or you can just go on to my page and you'll find it there.
Okay, so I had some um, leftover clay of clay that I don't really like. I think it just gets too hard. I will say it like bakes really nicely, but working with it, especially when it's hard, <laughs> is um, kind of annoying. I also got these. Oops. <laughs> um, they're basically like off-brand of the Sculpey ones. Um, like just think of silicone baking mats, but these are meant for like polymer clay. And you can work on them, although personally I didn't like working on it because it just slid around everywhere. And my biggest worry was, see how shiny it is? Usually if something's shiny like this, it's going to leave um, these like shiny spots on your clay. Um, typically I use something like this. It's just a um, like sheet of parchment paper that's like pre-cut and I don't really see much of those shiny spots but it does happen. Um, personally I'll, if I like really don't want a shiny spot I'll use um, just like paper but it's really nice to have like the paper leaches the oils from the clay so it's really nice to just be able to put this here and then come back later. Um, this I do think is really good for that. Um, it doesn't stick too much to this but it, yeah, it's just, I'm not like a fan of baking on it. The whole thing is like, you're supposed to be able to work on it and then bake on it. And I showed a couple of shiny spots, but I don't know if they're going to show up now. There we go. And depending on your project, it might not be a big deal, but I just personally don't like them. I try my hardest to like, not get them on projects but sometimes it's unavoidable um so here's everything that i made i'm just going to make these into pins probably um pins or magnets not sure which yet but i have some moths these little baby chicks i'm thinking of making these into peeps um some cats I actually don't have a cat head cutter, which I thought I did, but I didn't. So I took a bear head cutter and just like morphed the ears into cat ears. Honestly, I think it looks really cute. Um, I did some bunnies, some funky mushrooms, and I shaped these eggs. Um, these ones have like real bad shiny spots, um, but I shaped these ones into this egg shape and I was thinking of making them into like Yoshi eggs. I thought that would be really cute, although it's almost Easter so they could be Easter eggs but I think I'm gonna go with Yoshi eggs. Uh, I got a regular mushroom and a ghost. So yeah, I gotta sand them, prime them, and then start painting. So I was going to um, just kind of like record an ending part of the vlog. Ending these vlogs is always kind of like weird for me. Like what do I put? I don't know. So I'm doing a voiceover this time. Um, yeah, so, so far these pins have turned out pretty cute. Um, I really like the cat heads, although I think when I eventually get cutters um, that are cat head shaped, I want them a little bigger, I think. Not too much bigger, but just like a little bit bigger so I have more room to work and paint. Um, as of doing this voiceover, I have actually not finished these pins. And uh, yeah, I'm, I have them all sanded, all primed. Um, I just need to paint them and that will be in the next vlog. Um, but yeah, so February wasn't like too um, busy for me, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping March is a little bit better for me, um, just like productivity wise. And that's why I made these pins to just kind of try and get out of that funk. And so far, I think all the shapes look really cute and I'm really excited to paint them. I have a few ideas of what I want to paint on them. And yeah, that's it. Alright, <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!